when you were talking about population observations or other observations that uh, secular scientists would say just happened over billions of years, maybe in the past because of the difference in death rates or lifespans or perhaps other catastrophic events such as like plagues or other diseases, could those things be used to explain why until recently the population was relatively steady? Those are exactly the reasons that sec my secular colleagues mm -hmm. give. You, you nailed it. Uh, and so, but what I found is that those are all invoked ex post facto. In other words, they're not based on evidence. They're, they're based on ways that we can fit uh, the recent population growth into our paradigm, and the paradigm rules in that case. The data don't rule in that case. So that's a solution, right? It's like a Band-Aid. And we're going to make sure that somehow this fits into our worldview that needs vast ages, but it creates more problems in the process. So, for example, it creates the problem of expecting lots of burials. We don't have the burials. 